Why, hello there. It's Pepper J. Drake. And Matthew J. Drake. And I have no idea how this is going to sound because I think the new motion thingy is covering the microphone. Oh no. But look at the smooth motion. Look at I that. I have no idea. Yes, the smooth motion is awesome. <laughs> but we have no idea how the microphone's doing. So we're going to keep this fairly short. Hello, we're at Epcot. And we're in the World Showcase. We've been walking around for several hours now. And we are about to go in to have dinner at Monsieur Paul. Monsieur? Monsieur? Monsieur. I Monsieur. cannot pronounce French things. <laughs> Sorry. Monsieur. Mm -hmm. Jane, hello. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> um, but this is our last day of vacation. Your, boy, your face does not change. No! <laughs> <laughs> and this is our last day of vacation, and it is the last day of the year! Indeed. Thank you! Check out the back. Whoa. Super short. <laughs> yeah, so it's our last day of vacation. She's actually staying here an extra day longer, but I have to get back to base in Texas. So tonight's our last night together, and we are staying out at Epcot until around 2 a.m. <laughs> For all the partying fun. Yes. And it is super crowded here. Actually better than I thought it was going to be because I did read up on it, but super crowded. Just a few people here. Just a few. <laughs> and this is the first time that I've been at Epcot and I've seen that they've allowed people to take naps over on the green areas. So there are actually people that have been camping out all afternoon, maybe all day, partying like it's 1999. I think they already played the song for that. There is a DJ, and apparently Epcot does like DJ dance parties in the evening after the first round of fireworks. So there's like different DJ dance parties all around the World Showcase. But there's already people camping out along the wall here for the first round of fireworks, the Illuminations fireworks. I don't know what they're called. Sure. But there will be two rounds of fireworks that we're going to see. One's in less than a half an hour, and then the other one's at the turn of the year but it's magic hour and it's gorgeous and we figured what better time to check in with our Facebook Live that we promised you. Ooh, we're doing a panoramic. Where, where are you going? <laughs> I just wanted, I didn't want to mess the skyline up. All right, well then get down. <laughs> down. Oh, where are you going, oh, camera? Where are you going? No. Oh. <laughs> and I popped it. Hey. And then what? <laughs> so, <laughs> DJ dance parties, rounds of fireworks. We're about to go into the Zero Pause Fall or a um, special New Year's Eve like six course prefix. So it's not that super marathon amazing <laughs> thing that we did for Christmas, but this is going to be a really fun celebration for food anyway. Because yeah. when do we not eat to celebrate? I kept on saying that it was a seven course meal to people, and she keeps correcting me that no, 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 it's a five course, but there's also six. you know other stuff. It's six. <laughs> You have problems with this number. I don't know. Stop! Yes. We are adorable. <laughs> so if I'm not in the shot <laughs> with my whiteness, you can see that we're at Epcot. When I'm here, that just looks like a weird skyline. Oh, color balance. Oh. Yeah. Be swaggy. Yeah. <laughs> he shaved for me, too. Check this out. All right, all right, oh. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Safety check. So, after this, we will be apart for quite a few months. Yes, uh, maybe see each other in two months, maybe. Maybe, Still more like three. Still thing, yeah. You hear the white balance. <laughs> That's so true, Jane. Uh, yes. Uh, so, I am going to be busy doing day job, writing, hopefully have a super secret project take off. And I'm moving to Seattle. <laughs> Tell us more about that. I don't know. What can I say? I'm moving to Seattle. This is super awesome. Um, for a while there, especially for like the last year, I really didn't know where I was going to be living in 2018. There were some rumors about Japan. There were some possibilities about the European, the 
UK, I think, yeah, we were thinking possibly that my day job was going to send me to the UK, um, so then we did, had no idea, really, where I was going to live, and then we decided that um, they were going to keep me on the North American team, and so I picked a city, and it ended up being Seattle. So, moving to Seattle for a couple of years, starting that move in bits and pieces in between my day job business trips from January to March. So if you can't tell where I am, it's because I'm in transition, shall we say. Don't try to mail me anything. Right, yeah. <laughs> so she actually goes to pick up the keys somewhat soon, uh, yes. but then she doesn't really move for like a whole month after that. So it's a little bit of like, and also getting Corbin there is... is yeah, Poppy Corbin <laughs> is going to be a thing to make sure he gets there safely and then is moved into my, the new apartment safely. And then he's got to get used to the whole city dog life. Like downtown city dog life. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you're enjoying the podcast. I'm pretty sure that that's 20 minute delay because you're talking about Hellmouth Outports. And maybe I will have a new Hellmouth Airport after the move, but since I've recently been back to the Chicago Airport, it's still my Hellmouth Airport. <laughs> right, yeah. But it was a lovely trip to Chicago. It's just, you know, the airport, I did end up delayed again. Oh, goodness gracious. Did we mention there are people here? So many. <laughs> so I will be um, doing the move to Seattle in transition from January to March, and then maybe I will see you in Marchish. But in the meantime, in the middle of that transition, I will be at Coastal Magic Convention. So shout out to Coastal Magic Convention. Registration is still open if anybody has the wherewithal, the chance, and has the desire to maybe go hit to Daytona in the middle of the winter. Come that see nice, right? It's my first time at that con, and I really, really am looking forward to it. That's it. That's all I got. And then we got a big voice. Wait, what time is dinner at? Because there's an announcement. Oh, early bird performance. Six twenty. Six twenty. Additional exits are available to get you out. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm just not very skilled with this new toy yet. I'm like, where are you going? What are you doing? I didn't mean to do half of that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Don't know, sometimes announcements get picked up on the microphone way clearer than us talking. So that's why we always stop when there's announcements. Yeah, don't look behind the curtain. Yeah, taking those additional exits, I agree. It's, it's like glancing behind the curtain of Disney. It's like, no, 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 don't I want to see it. this. It ruins the magic. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, it is an easier way for people to get out. So in any case, we're going to wrap up here. It's getting really crowded. It is us. Don't look behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. What I just said. Yes, I know. Say bye. Bye.